Hello guys, we are here with week number three and I can show you the results of week number two here in my division 5A. Um, so as expected I lost in UK and but I was lucky to get away with the victory. Actually uh, quite um, quite clear that I won this one. So I'm actually not sure, I haven't looked at it. What did he struggle with? Which location or did I watch? Did I look at it? Ah, the turkey one. He didn't find it. And also the Philippine one. Yeah, I think he's, he mentioned in chat somewhere that he saw both Davao and Manila or something and then he guessed Manila. Um, yeah, so that's at least a draw. So I'm quite happy with the draw because that, that map is very risky in my opinion. I can totally lose on that. But I didn't, so here we are in fifth place with four points. Um, Bear the Polyglot has gotten two games that he didn't play right now so if he doesn't play this week he's out i think um, and maybe someone can replace him and today i'm playing against the uh, sausage wipe from russia and quite happy with the match map choices i chose north america because why not? I like playing North America against Europeans. And he chose World Cities, so luckily not a Russian map. <laughs> um, yeah, so probably better. But still cities, yeah. I mean, it's just 100k, so I'm actually very happy with that choice by him. It was his second choice, actually, so surprising. I got my first choice. So yeah, um, what should we start with? Which one do we play first? Oh, actually, good question. Mm, what is better? Maybe let's do word cities first. Okay. What do we have here? This is some very interesting bricking. Getting kind of Andorra vibe, but not quite. Well, yeah, that should be Italian. So, Sicilia. Interesting. Roma, Firenze. So if Firenze is signed, then we're not very south, I think. Well, do we go towards the center? I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but I just have to. Yeah, I, I probably would be nice to find a, the town name somewhere. We also, it's hard to imagine what, so between Firenze and Roma, maybe, Perugia, we're in Perugia, so we're gonna find that really quick, um, where is it again, here, Perugia, we're kind of central, I suspect, mm. Sona Universitaria, that's where we came from. Where is the university? Yeah, here. Yeah, we could definitely be somewhere up there. So, mm, there's a weird road here. Maybe this one? I don't know. How do we find the exact spot? I could be very wrong there this the stadium is also here where is the stadium somewhere 
I don't know. Hmm. Well, not easy to find road names here because the roads are so weird. Yeah, this is very complicated to find this spot. This is some kind of hmm interesting. So yeah, this looks to be Yeah, we are we are actually here. We should be, I think. Right? No? Okay. Okay, no. See, interesting. This does not have the triangle that I saw there. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, but did he play already? Nope. All right. So, yeah, probably not at least. Vamos juntos. Feels kind of like Argentina a lot. Where was that sign here? Saint Las Mercedes, Quintana, what? Mm, there is some Mercedes town. But let's look for more confirmation. There are high towers here. Not many, but there is a Via Mercedes, if I remember correctly. But I am not sure where exactly it was. It's Chile, probably at least. Okay, is that so? That's not the Mercedes I think that I have in mind. But there's probably many. Ah, uh, it's tough. I mean, this is a major town, so it should show up at this zoom level, I think. But I'm not sure if it's actually Mercedes. It's not up there, I think. Um, yeah, I don't see it. I'm gonna put it somewhere here for now and try to find more yeah Chile is, looks like confirmed with that second Chile sign but which city hmm Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of lost here. Could it be a suburb of Santiago? Let's quickly check that. Because it does feel kind of like... It is a big city. You know what, I'm just gonna put it here for now. Maybe look for Mercedes again or something that I've seen, but I... It is here, wow! Okay, good, I changed that back. It is actually so close to the center, wow. Whoa, what is, how to find this? <gasps> There's nothing here. Although those were not town names that I've seen. Also not even district names. Really interesting. So good, I changed at least to close to... I thought it could be anywhere from here to down maybe here. So I was a bit hesitant to go directly into Santiago, but... Yeah, it was a big city, kind of. 
Oh, wait, this location, I don't know, feels somewhat familiar, but probably not. Spanish speaking again, probably, unless it's Portuguese. Acai. Okay, that might be Brazil then. But not necessarily. This could be the difference making round. No. No, I don't think this is Brazil. Wow, this is really confusing. Could this be Mexico? Jeez, it's getting quite ghetto up here. I don't know where I should go. So currently going north and it doesn't lead me anywhere. So maybe I should go. Oh, this is also not going anywhere. Jeez. Is this Mexico? I'm not even sure. Sun is hmm, rather south. Let's. Oh, Feijao. So it is probably Brazil. So it says supermercados. I'm so confused for some reason. Wait, the error code is just 9? No, it's 27. So if it were Brazil... Um, wait, where was the 2s again? I'm still not convinced for some... Im sua casa. I'm so confused. Um... Twos are, wait, I'm confused. Is it somewhere here? Wait. Sao Paulo is one, right? This is a really small town, probably around 100,000. Going a little bit down here. I don't know. It is Serra. At least I got the country. I, I felt like I've seen Spanish there, so I was I was almost convinced for a while that that's not Portuguese. This is really hard to find, man. Jeez. Black car. De -de 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 -de. Canada, probably. Four eight west and three five south. All right. Looks like the Rockies are here. Jeez. But is it maybe just? Is it Canada? Why am I thinking Canada? just because of the traffic lights now it's not Canada yeah US makes much more sense here all right Utah bus so we're somewhere in the Salt Lake City area but maybe oh wait it could be the city actually it could be the city with those signs but I'm not sure 520, yeah, they do that stuff. 520 something. Where was the start? It was. Yeah, those traffic lights really confused me. 480 west and 35 south. 480 west. Three five south. 
How does that even work? That is that is really confusing. Three five south. Four eight west. Here, yeah. There's. I think that's here, right? There's a Domino's. If I go south, yes, I guess. Mackay, yeah, that's here. Dental. We're at the southern end here. And at this house, kind of. Before the Domino's, so we're rather here, I guess. Yeah, should be it. 5k. Yep. Salt Lake is kind of famous for that um, um, that numbering. It wasn't actually Salt Lake, but so I guess this whole area has this system. All those suburbs are included. We are actually in West Valley City, so yeah, I didn't get the city vibe at first. Whoa, why is the air so orange? Recently someone told me if it looks like there's like bad air from the from wildfires or something, which it feels like could be here, then it can be like Pacific Northwest. So like Seattle maybe? Oh it's Minneapolis. Okay. Minneapolis on a bridge. Why is the air so bad here? Surprising. Um where are we? We're on a southwest kind of bridge. Hennepin and first. North first and Hennepin. North first and the, it must be a bridge, right? There's no hennepin here. There's hennepin. So we are at the hennepin bridge. North first, this, this. Easy. Um, we're at the eastern end of the bridge. We're on an island, wow, that's actually hard to believe. We're on the right lane, I guess. So where is this road here? This is La Salle or something, right? De La Salle. And we are quite close there. Where's the bus stop? Where is that? I don't see. Oh, it's right here. So we should be somewhere here. All right. Yeah, that Brazil round. I mean, this can really be the deciding round. I mean, also Santiago. I mean, this very easy. This, yeah, maybe not that easy. And this, yeah, maybe also not that easy to find um, a good sign like that says Peru, John. It, I only saw one, right? So possibly tough round as well, but it's clear it's Italy, so no, can't lose much point then. That Cecilia was confusing. Maybe he goes further down or something if he, if he sees it. So, um, yeah, but pretty good score for that is the map of my opponent. And now we're going to play my map, North America moving. So, yeah, we just had two US rounds. So that was very generous, I guess. A grand cash, grand prairie. All right, that is somewhere here, here, and 
So Grand Prairie is north. Grand Cache is here. And Hinton is here. So the question is... So does it mean we're close to Grand Cache? Because if both is this way and the other direction is Grand Prairie, we should be in between. The road here is going north-south though. So maybe we're at this end. I go south then and see what I can get there. Because there's no road sign here, right? Besides that. So it's no US round, but at least I know a few towns in Canada. Definitely Canada confirmed in case there is a Grand Prairie in the US. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can for road? I mean, I can try look for it, but I don't know if I'm in the right town. Can for mm, I don't know I don't know where the town is haunt oh, the movement is shit let me go Looks like south there is nothing. Maybe I should... It is north here, right? Maybe I should just follow this road. Because I don't know if I will find anything. it's obviously this road just looking for Grand Ford whatever that was I'm not finding it need to make a guess yeah, I don't know I go here Oh wow, it was that far north. <laughs> Jeez. Canfor. And when you go south, there is that the other Canfor. There's no names. Jesus. It was so close to Grand Prairie, even though Hinton was signed. And Grand Cache was also signed. So I thought we have to be either close to Grand Cache or Hinton. So I thought we are here because of that. And there is a, a north stretch here. So that's why I guess there. But yeah, we were in the in the middle of nowhere. That is true as well. So yeah, whatever. Not the best start, I guess. Because it's not that hard to find that. But uh, if you don't know Grand Prairie or something, then it's quite hard to find. What is this? This is a weird round, man. It's it's gonna be US here, but it's weird. And the movement is shit once again. Wait, kilometer? So it's not US. Oh, okay. No US. Canada seat, that's not what I want. But looks like we're more east now, I think. This could actually be very east. kind of getting some slight New England vibe so I'm thinking it could be close there do we have French here or not or both could very well be New Brunswick as well what is it Schmebol or what Bole 
Yeah, it is French. So we're in Quebec, probably. Which does make sense. But in a very rural area here. So I'm going north. One more minute. Yeah, Canada is tough because you get so few signs. At least I know it's French speaking. I just hope it's not New Brunswick. They have usually both languages, right? But I think. Is it English first? I think so, usually. So I might hatch a little bit to the east of Quebec. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna find anything here like. Poo. Jeez. Oh, Moffat. Oh, wow. V. Marie. Moffat and V. Marie. Saint Marie? No, that's not it. Ah, Jesus. Where is it? I have no idea. We're gonna go for Saint Marie, even though it's not. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so far west, actually. There is V Marie, okay. Does show at this level, but it's it's small. It's really small. So I would think my opponent doesn't know it either. So uh, yeah, if it would have given me Valdor, then probably that would have helped. Sudbury as well, North Bay probably I know as well. Yeah. But all that was not really signed, and I even got to the first sign at the end, at the last seconds. So there is a big wildlife reserve here, so not surprising, this feels very, very um, nature-y here. And, like, the road is pretty boring, <laughs> kind of straight, but yeah, yeah, quite tough round. Ponzi Airport, not the Ponzi Scheme Airport, but the Ponzi. At least I hope it's not gonna po Ponzi in my points away. YPU, what does that mean? Hmm, I think this time we're in the US, right? Oh my gosh, maybe not? So that's definitely some native, native language it seems. Oh, and it feels very north again now. So it's Canada again. Ponzi Lake. Landfill site. Hmm, is this the state there? What is it? What is it? Something with C. I don't know. Is there some province with C? Not really. So probably poor. Yeah, this feels definitely west. Like the ground here is a little bit dry. So. Oh. Circle route, Discovery Coast. Yeah, okay, British Columbia confirmed, West confirmed, but where is the Ponzi Lake? And is it worth searching considering how many lakes there are in British Columbia? Yeah. 
Yeah, kind of question that I'm not going to find it. The question is, are we in mainland? It feels very mainlandish. How about this Ponzi Lake? I mean, if the town is called Ponzi, it's probably easier to find it. But yeah, this is like impossible. Very hard, very interesting seed where we have to do a lot of landscape guessing. Oh, I put it a little bit more north and it paid out. We were in what? It's blocked. Chilanco Forks. There is the Ponzi Lake. So, yeah, I was really scared that it's very north, but then again, there's not a lot of coverage there. So, yeah, I thought this road maybe is a good choice because it's not that far south and it doesn't feel like that. Very interesting. This road goes here, man, and then you need to take the ship. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, this is also middle of nowhere and Canada again. <laughs> Every time I think it's US, but it's not. So I'm not saying it anymore. Deer Meadow, Dan or Don Krupp. Wait, is this the Oklahoma sign? No, that's just... That's just the address. But this time it's US, right? Oh wow, what is this? Stewardship forest. This feels weird again. <laughs> so I don't know. So apparently this map is not what I expected it to be. But I don't mind it, it's fine. So we have some hills here. A bit mountainous. I am not getting a good feel on this location. I have no idea. It's very countryside again. Mm, hunting is prohibited. I do get a somewhat Rocky Mountain vibe, but it's not very strong this time. So I'm a little bit confused. I could be very wrong then. <laughs> but it's once again very countryside. There's not that many dirt roads in the US that are covered. You're much more likely to get them in Green Plate. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess Vermont. Yeah, now that I see the buildings, Vermont could be. But I'm not convinced yet that it's actually US. Pot Vermont is alre already almost Canada, right? <laughs> so Vermont mountains, maybe. But the movement again. All I got is a green plate, and I don't know if uh, any Canadian province uses green plates. So this might be an issue, if I guess there. But yeah, with the houses, I could totally see it being Vermont. The mountains are green. Vermont. So yeah, that's where I'm going. Um, in the very mountainous area, maybe here looks like that's the most mountainous area oh whoa is this the vermont yes it is but almost new york jeez this is a crazy location man this map only has like ridiculous countryside locations apparently 
good I saw the plate, man. I, w well, I have not, I have no idea where I would have guessed otherwise. Maybe I would have guessed Montana, even though that doesn't make sense either at all, actually. Okay, this time we got the main highway. Isn't that Alberta Poles? And we're east west, so we could be on the main Canada highway. Do I really want to follow this car? This truck. I'm not checking cars or trucks, I guess. Because they could be coming from far away. It is somewhat hilly here. Man, Google car, can't you take over this dude? Because I might miss a sign. So is it Canada? Yeah, it must be because those poles are not uh, not I don't remember yeah now we get now we're going Provost freight lines there is a, a train line there wait what what is this saying four Go straight, what? Maybe it's Alberta 4. Maybe I should look for that, but I want to get something better because that might not be true at all. Come on. Jeez, those rounds. So now we're going northwest. And I think we're in Alberta. Let's quickly see. Is the four here somewhere? Going east west. There is the four going northwest. Does it end here in Lethbridge? Seems like it does. So I'm guessing there because I have no better idea. And we have to be somewhat close to the mountains because otherwise it would be flatter. There are little hills. Unless it's a unusual area. It should be Alberta. Yeah, but it wasn't the 4 at all. It was the 13 and it was more north. Yeah, I felt like it doesn't look like Montana at all. So not surprised it's further north, but I just went based on that sign. And it's actually quite east, surprisingly. Ah, oh, there's Provost. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Maybe checking trucks is not actually that bad. Yeah, I mean, if you have this movement and it's Canada, yeah, it's going to be tough. So maybe that was the better strategy to do so. But yeah, very hard seat. So 1916, not unhappy. I mean, I always went in the wrong area of the state, kind of. No, not always. Like here, here and here. Wait, did I guess New Hampshire? Oh my gosh, I guess New Hampshire. No, why did I do that? Yeah, that's, I didn't want that. But yeah, I missed the border here because of the 91 probably. Yep. So yeah, he didn't play as expected. So we have to see next time if I got the victory or not feels like I could really win one of these at least so hopefully shouldn't be a loss um, is he good in the in the in the standings so 
he got two draws and a bonus point so far so yep next week we will be playing Biquet which is um, quite high in the table so it might be a difficult one so yep yeah. see you guys then bye bye